Welcome everybody, this is um, another filter focus video. So we're gonna be checking out double chance for the home team. It was the most requested one on Twitter when I asked the question. If you're watching this later in life, uh, this is recorded on the 31st of March. So this is off the cuff, off the top of my head. I'm just trying to show you how you might create one of these filters. Um, so points per game. Now, if we're looking at double chance for the home win, I think we're gonna have to put in some rules about the away team. They're gonna have to be playing a pretty decent away team for the odds to be quite high, but we still need a team that is capable of winning at home. I'm gonna go 1.8 for the minimum PPG for the home team. And for the away team, remember we do need a team that is either overall decent or in decent form right now. Um, and you know, if that's the case, we're, we're looking at teams where we think they can stop that decent run um, or certainly just bring the away team back down. Maybe the away team has been, been playing some easy games recently or something. For the away team, we want, let's say 1.5, points per game um, and then I'm going to look at the away team again and say that they have scored in at least eight out of the last 10 and then we will add odds for the home victory 1.8 or higher and we will add a probability value as well um, at about 25% let's just say 25% for now it's quite low um, but we'll, we'll give it a search and see what we get back so we've got a few games, and as we can see, we've got some very high scoring away teams. Um, we might want to take one that's a little bit lower, um, just just to, to start with. So we'll get this game in Algeria. It's third against second. Um, so that kind of qualifies in, in, the, in that the, the home team is not bad at all. If we look at the, the odds, it is exactly 1.80 on Bet365. We can do a comparison um, just to see... What else is going on? The best is going to be 1.95, just under evens on Ladbrokes. And then we will take a look, and the first thing that stands out actually is that they've won 100% of home games. So we can see the record at home, it is very good. Um, 11 wins out of 11, the scoring for fun. Um, quite a few clean sheets, not in the last game where they played third. So they're playing second now. That victory put them third in the previous home victory. I think it's it's a safe bet that this home team scores. And I think looking at the odds, the bookies are, are with you there because it's you know 1.8 for the victory. Um, given that this away team is is not bad at all, and they're higher in the league than the than the other team. So 1.5 for two or more goals. Um, you could set an alert on that and just see how this game starts because that that previous head to head being nil nil as well is something that I would. Um, just mentally note between these two teams. Maybe it's safer for them to both just not lose at this stage of the season. I haven't checked out the, the full league table, but that might you know be a, a next step to see um, the form of other teams in and around them, how far they are off the top, if there's anything to play for. The, you know, Whoever's first could be 10, 15 points clear. You just don't know without looking. Um, but you know, always dig deeper. You can see the points per game on the stat scroller and you'll notice that the highlighted value is the higher value and it makes it interesting just for scanning, especially for this kind of market and this filter because the home PPG here, the home team rather, um, has got a higher PPG um, overall. You can see in the games above, it is the away team. So this one is Norwich City Under 21's fourth hosting fifth. They've won 63%, just eight games played at home. If you look overall though, you can see it's quite tight between these two teams. Norwich have got a few more draws, um, 30 points compared to 27. Both got a positive goal difference. Um, and at home, 2.13 points per game for Norwich City, who are evens um, to win this game. If we look at the probability model for this one um, and we see what it's saying, it's 36%. It's actually predicting an away win in this case. Um, so we can check out the, the details of this game. You can see that they are conceding goals. They've conceded two goals in two out of the last three games. Um, yeah, plenty of goals you can see, even at home as well. They've conceded two or more in the last three home games. Um, and we can check out the away form of Aston Villa, which is actually very good. Um, so you can sort of see where the probability model is coming from here. Let's get it to generate a simulation for us. High scoring game, 3-2 to Aston Villa. 42% of the 5,000 simulated games ended with an away victory. So Norwich City evens there. So that, that is possibly one that you could go with uh, for the double chance if you wanted to create a double chance double, which is 
Um, something I've done in the past, and, and actually, if you if you just stick with it, it's, you know, it can be quite low odds sometimes. But if you just stick with it, I found I, I had a bit of success with that because quite often it's it's a team that is capable of getting results. But if they're playing a decent away team, then a draw might be a decent result for them. Um, and often they might go one nil up, and it looks like they're going to get the win. And then the away team, because you know you still we're still qualifying with this this filter for for decent away teams, um, they get a goal and uh, they, they're able to get a draw. You know, a good team away from home might not perform as well as they do at home. So if you're still qualifying that that away team is is decent, I think that's that's where the value comes from in my opinion. But you can mix and match. You could you could do the same, reverse it with with um, double chance for away teams. Um, there's so many things and so many rules that you can create um, just to give you an idea if you look at the home teams and you, you just scroll through all the rules that are possible and this is all you know you can break it down by last five last six at home over all the way and when you start to compare and mix and match the conceded with the goals scored win percentage half time stats corner stats card stats it's all there and um, yeah it allows it allows for it allows for real customization and uh, control sometimes you just come across games that might not match exactly what you're thinking doesn't mean you just discard them because if you've got the experience of working with other filters and other betting systems then that's that's the benefit of it because once you explore another niche you've got um, experience and you, you can see a game and think oh well maybe not for this one but you know it, it'd suit another filter or another betting system that I've been looking at